All right, in this video, I'm going to walk through an ad account where it appears that cost caps have overspent and have, once again, cost an advertiser money that they were not willing to spend. And therefore, the advertiser turned off cost caps, at least at some point, because of it. And this is a really common problem that I hear a lot that people go, why? Why are cost caps spending when they're not performing? And so I'm going to show you how I would think about this problem in this ad account. So in this ad account, um, what you can see first is that um, the... Uh, date range here is May 1st through June 30th. Okay, so about two months, and the total spend, this is all the spend um, in the account, is about 11.5K. I'm also going to show you that I have a custom AOV column here, and the AOV is about $211, which means over those two months within the um, standard attribution windows here, this is these purchases are in, in the attribution windows with the, with the settings set by the advertiser. There's only 123 purchases over those two months. And this is the first thing I notice when I open this ad account, is that the spend is pretty low and the AOV is actually decently high. Um, and so the top spending campaign has 77 purchases over the course of two months. Now, of course, if you know uh, Meta, you have heard people talk about the learning phase requiring 50 purchases. Uh, to get out of learning, um, and and even some people, will, you know, the old advice at least was like 50 purchases per week is what you wanted at the um, ad set level. Now that's not the case for many advertisers, and so really this brings up the question of what do you do if you're a smaller account, a smaller spending account? How do you deal with this? And I think the advice that I'm going to have here is going to be relevant even if you are spending more money. But uh, that's the first thing I flagged in this account. The second thing I flagged is is here in the attribution setting, right? Seven day click, one day view. Um, the advertiser who who uh, showed me this did tell me that uh, that they pay specific attention to seven day click um, only performance and maybe keep view and view attribution in there um, specifically because they get such a low purchase volume that they wanted to give meta more signal of purchases but that they actually pay attention to click that's reasonable to some degree to me i still think it's going to be confusing especially when you set things like cost caps and bid caps i would still move over to a click based conversion um, and and just run everything on seven day click okay now the other thing i'll notice is that over these couple months you have uh let's see how many active campaigns You've got, uh, let's see, campaigns that spent, you've got eight, okay? Eight campaigns that have spent over that time, and most of them have very few purchases. Now, some of that is because there's a Father's Day um, bump in this in this for this advertiser that they have they they have some seasonality related to Father's Day, and so that definitely is a reason why um, they have such a um, so many different campaigns. They also had a Fourth of July sale. Um, and we're prepping for that at the end of June. So there's a couple outstanding circumstances here, but this core campaign is an ASC campaign. And and the reason I flagged the eight campaigns is because it's too many. There's too many campaigns if you are running so few purchases. One of the things you need to understand baseline, and this is gonna be crucial advice for this particular account and for really this is where I think this advice goes to broader. Um, baseline, what you need to understand is that um, if you want purchase data to dictate future purchase probabilistic forecasting, which is what conversion, which is what bid caps, cost caps, TROS campaigns do, then you need to consolidate the purchase data into less places, okay? Um, they're, they're, at a lower spending account, the number one piece of advice I would have for somebody is to try to get uh, more purchases in less total ad sets or less total campaigns. This is where ASC can be a really good tool, actually. But being able to put 150 ads into one campaign, um, you, you can uh, consolidate your learning in one place. Now, there's some downsides to ASC. For example, it can be hard to separate out different products at different AOV levels if you're running low cost that's a problem um, I think you really want to keep that existing customer cap at zero percent with ASC but otherwise it's a really good tool if you actually have um, ads that are all for the same product producing basically the same AOV it's a really good way to keep the learnings consolidated into less total places because when you're running a smaller campaign that can be really really helpful so it can be a useful tool for doing those things um, okay so um, so uh, so that's the first thing I'll notice is that you've got this situation here where that's going on now in these in this time period actually um, they're, they're hitting target or at least close enough to target and feeling pretty good okay but then after June July comes around and now in July you've got another 4400 in total spend all right 11 purchases over the course of the month in July and our CAC has gone way up 276 up from let's see 
$49 in that campaign. Okay. So that's a really, really big difference. And if I showed you the cost caps along that time period, what you would see is that over time, the advertisers lowering the caps, lowering the caps, trying to get Meta to spend less without blowing through this. But what I want you to realize is that this means that over the course of these 30 day, 31 days, this advertiser um, is getting one purchase every few days within this window that, um, that Meta has selected. That means there's basically no way for Meta to realize something really important, which is that we are now past this core sale period. The same thing is true in August um, because it's just not getting enough data, okay? So if you go to August, same thing. You've got five purchases in here. It's really low. CAC goes up even more. Um, and so, and now your spend goes down again. So the, 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 the fundamental challenge here is that if anything has changed in customer behavior from Father's Day to later, Meta cannot know that. Now, this is where I want to back up and think about what how Meta's forecasting works, okay? So there are basically two things that are powering cost caps and bid caps, and, and that is expected click-through rate, which Meta can learn from really fast because it gets a lot of impressions and a lot of clicks, even on a $2,000 spend in this campaign. How many clicks do we have? Let's see. We've got... 2,900 clicks. So they can learn a lot on 2,900 clicks and it can update an expected click-through rate really, really quickly. So that number is nearly always going to be basically accurate in Meta's probabilistic forecasting machine, okay? But it is also working off of, and this is documented by Meta, an expected conversion rate, okay? So it's going to convert, uh, it's going to assume a certain conversion rate and then forecast your cost cap based on that because the only way it can forecast CAC, which is what is powering a cost cap, right, is, uh, is by forecasting forecasting uh, the price of a click okay, and the price of a purchase. And to forecast the price of a purchase, it has to forecast how many of those clicks convert. Okay, So spend, click uh, in CPM, clicks, and, um, and purchases are what it forecasts. Now, if you have a moment where your uh, conversion rate drastically changes, then Meta probably can't know that until the conversions come through. So its expected conversion rate is going to be too low or too high based on that. For example, if you have, as I mentioned, a Father's Day moment, and this brand does. And so because this brand has a Father's Day moment and the spend is so low, what Meta is almost certainly doing here is saying, hey, we're going to convert plenty of traffic because it saw in June, you know, 50 some odd purchases or 77 purchases in that time window. And it's, and it is updating its expected conversion rate as it gets all those purchases in that campaign uh, and has some sense of what the conversion rate is going to be. But in the two months since then, uh, the expected conversion rate couldn't have changed that much because it is getting so few purchases to update against, right? So Meta isn't that can't quote unquote realize that the conversion rate has changed, all right? So this is the hardest thing, in my opinion, about buying with bid caps, cost caps, TROS, is when when what you know individually is actually different than what is actually happening for the brand. Now, many people think that's happening all the time, and most times it's actually not, right? So people will say, well, see, Meta doesn't realize this ad is a winner, and so it's not scaling it fast enough, or Meta, uh, it's something like that, right? Um, that's actually not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is something has meaningfully changed based on the offers on your website or the seasonal moment or something like that um, that is keeping that is, uh, that is going to not fit with a statistical sample uh, that Meta has to work from. Okay, that's that is the thing. So Father's Day, for example, you launch a sale, you expect suddenly your conversion rate doubles. Well, there's no way, based on the previous week or month or however many purchases worth of data, Meta will know that the next ten clicks are likely to convert much differently than the previous ten clicks. Okay, um, and but it has to know that for it for it to forecast this. So how do you handle that? On either side of this, I think you do two things. One of them is you adjust your budget proactively. Okay, so um, if you come out of a sale and you know your conversion rate is going to be worse because you're on the back end of a sale, you just bring your budget way down, especially if you're very worried about losing money, okay? If your budget's at 10 grand a day and you're like, oh man, I think we can't probably spend that much money and have it work, right? Just drop it down to two grand uh, and, and force Meta to do that. That will make the budget the pacing mechanism instead of the cost cap, okay? Or the bid cap or the TROS target. Secondly, the other thing I would do is I would um, proactively over adjust the caps or the, or the TROS targets. And so um, if you think your conversion rate is going to cut in half and you can go study this in your account, what happens the day after a sale, then go adjust your cost cap uh, down by 50%. Okay. So now make force meta to do that. Now, after it gets enough purchases at that point, it will learn over, over more time what's going on. Um, but it takes some time. Now, this account is going to be really hard to run cost caps with either way because you've got higher AOV, 
lower volume of spend, it's just going to be really tough. I would mega super consolidate. I would set my cost caps. Um, in this case, I'd run bid caps, uh, click based only, and I would set them extremely, you know, conservatively. If I really couldn't afford to lose money, it can be really tricky uh, whether it's sale or not, just to make sure that everything is is working correctly. But um, but yeah, that's that's the way I would think about this for a smaller account and even for a bigger account. Um, proactively adjust your caps. Proactively adjust your budgets. That's probably the most important thing to do here.